There's always a man. There's always a city. There's always a lighthouse. Now would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a... Let's go out to play, Daddy. <laughs> go back to the Sodom from which you came! Time to finish this. Catch. That'll do. Elizabeth! Hey guys, my name is Jess. Today is the 5th of July, and you're tuned in to Game Spot News. Blizzard has filed a lawsuit against the creators of an Overwatch cheating program. Torrent Freak reports that German-based company Bossland created an Overwatch cheating tool called Watch Over Tyrant, and Blizzard are not happy about it. The tool allows players to see the health and position of obscured players. Blizzard actually have a history with Bossland as they previously sued the same company over bots which helped users cheat in games like World of Warcraft, Heroes of the Storm, and Diablo 3. Allegedly, thousands of players may be using this tool, which, as you can imagine, damages the game by giving some players an unfair their advantage. Blizzard have claimed copyright infringement and the encouragement of unfair competition, and believe Bossland has cost them millions of dollars in revenue as well as irreparable damage to their goodwill and reputation. Bossland has told Torrent Freak they've not received notice of the lawsuit as of yesterday. Xbox is adding a new wheelchair option to its Xbox avatar system. Xbox engineering lead Mike Yabara took to Twitter to reveal images of the new option to add a wheelchair to your Xbox avatar. This came after Xbox co-creator Shameless Blackley tweeted, Depending on how skeletons are done on avatars, wheelchairs might be relatively simple and the hashtag right thing. That kicked off a petition to include wheelchairs, to which Xbox boss Phil Spencer replied there would be no need, as they'd already looked into the avatar inclusion. The avatars on the whole appear to be getting the higher fidelity treatment with more features to come. So across the board, Xbox fans should see their avatars leveling up before too long. In Oh My God, It's Actually Happening news, Red Dead Redemption will arrive on Xbox One this Friday through backwards compatibility. Rockstar has announced that everybody's favorite open world western will be playable on the 8th of July, and it's available to gold members for $7.50 on the Xbox Store if you don't have it or can't find it. If you don't have a gold subscription, you can pick it up for $10.50. On the Xbox feedback site, there are only two games with more votes asking for them to be included in the backwards compatibility catalog, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Let me know which Xbox 360 game you're still waiting on to arrive on Xbox One. Be sure to drop by GameSpot for stories on FIFA 17 and Fallout 4, and come by again tomorrow for a bunch more news.